it's time for Mr. Knott's Art Studio. Today I got a fun game for you, but we're also going to use our creativity. Now, past couple of days I've gotten onto my phone and I've played a video game where you have this building and you shoot a cannon or a missile at, at the building and you try to tear down the building. I've played that for about 15, 20 minutes. The next thing I know, I feel like a vegetable. So, I got something fun for us today. Today, we are going to make ninja stars. I loved making these when I was a kid. I play with them, I throw them around everywhere. And what's great about them is that they're not super dangerous because they're light enough that they're not gonna really do any damage. They don't really hurt anybody. You just know that you got hit and you're like, hey, let's play around some more. But here we go, we're gonna get started on this and I'm gonna show you a really cool game. Parents, get involved with this. Get your kids on, in on this. The whole family can play this game. It's fun, it's easy. I plan on playing with my wife later on. All right, so here we go. Mm, boom, here's our piece of paper, real simple. Okay, this doesn't take many materials and it's uh, not hard to make. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to take the piece of paper and we are gonna fold it in half. All right, give it a good sharp crease like that. It's gonna be an awesome ninja star. We open it up and we can cut the paper in half right along that line. So you use a pair of scissors, you can uh, do whatever method you use to tear paper, cut paper. I usually don't use scissors very much, but I figured I'd show it this way. Piece of paper, two halves. I'll let you kind of catch up with me there. All right, next thing, these folds are these uh, folds are actually pretty simple to do right here. You're gonna fold it in half. Right there. And then fold it in half again. Simple enough, right? And guess what? We're gonna do the same thing to the other piece. I'll slow down just a little bit here. I've made so many of these ninja stars, I could probably make one in about, I bet I could make one in about a minute. And fold that in half, and fold that in half again. All right, I'll give you a second to catch up. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. All right, our next fold that we're going to do, we want the flap on the bottom where this opens up, we want it on the bottom. We're gonna fold this in half like this. So anytime I make a fold, let's do it from this point on, what we're gonna do, I'll make a fold, and when I get done with the fold, I'll say go, and that'll give you time to do the fold, so go. One, now, you're going to open it back up. Here's where the folds get a little more tricky. Not too hard, though. I've done much harder ones. Is we're going to take this here, and we're going to fold this where this lines up down the middle. Almost like you're making a paper airplane. So right there on that line down the middle. So watch. Just watch me. I'll give you time to catch on. And give it a good sharp crease because we want a good, good fold on this. Okay, ready? Go. This is gonna be an awesome ninja star. All right, now we're gonna take this fold right here. We're gonna take this side and we're gonna fold it up this way, folding it right down the middle. Now it's important that we do it on the same, we fold down on the right side, up on the left side. We'll do the same thing on this one. It's important that we do that. If we don't, it's gonna make our, uh, our pieces won't go together correctly. All right. Now you flip it over. I'm gonna take this side right here and I'm gonna line it up right here. Just make, it's gonna make a square. Just like that. We turn it around, do the same thing on the other side. Fold it up to that point. 
You notice I give it a good crease, sharp crease. I rub it with my fingernail. You can take a pen, a pencil. Then you take this, you're going to take this, you're almost like you're making a paper airplane. This edge right here is going to line up right down the middle. So you're folding and making a triangle there. This, it's, it's, it's going to want to pop back up, okay? So you got to kind of hold it there. All right, go. Now you're going to take, this, we'll do this side next, okay? So repeating on the same side, this side right here. Right here. So now you have a Z shape. Can I see a, a Z or number two shape? Good sharp crease. Go. Then we fold this in like that. Fold this one in like this. Okay, so you have a little diamond shape like this. Now you gotta find so if you're sitting down, slide this under your butt. Sit on it, something like that. Find something to hold it down. Package of donuts here. <laughs> Guess what I'm having after video. All right. Next thing we're going to take. We're going to do the same thing on this one. Same exact thing that we did on the last one. Make sure your flaps are at the bottom. Fold it in half like this. Go. Open it back up. Now you're going to take this left side. Remember, the left side folds downwards. So it's going to fold down like this. I'll find my center part. i got a little shadow there. It's hot in it. So fold right down the center. Good sharp crease. All right. Take this. Side right here, we're going to fold it upwards, line this up right down the middle. Good sharp crease. Mine came out of my holder. Okay, flip it over. Next step, take this, we're going to fold it towards the middle here to make that square. And you do this one. On the other side, flip it around, do the same thing on this side. Now give me some thumbs up if you're with me. Same thing as before. Take this one, fold it down. All right. Lots of people with me. All right. Awesome. I love the thumbs up. Okay. This one right here, fold it down like this. <laughs> Cracking me up. All right. <laughs> Okay, so we got our two shape, the shape or the Z shape. We take it, we're gonna fold this over, we're gonna fold this over. So we should have two pieces that are exactly the same. They'll open up the same way. Like if I hold them like this, the top one's folding up, this one's folding up. They should be exactly the same. All right. Um, uh, now, here's a little tricky part. So we're gonna open them both up the number twos, okay, the Z's. Lay one right on top of the other. Go ahead and do that. I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna close this one up. This one here, and this one here. It lays over the top of that, okay? Let me get straightened up here. Okay, so I'm gonna try that again, make that look a little smoother. All right, I'm gonna lay this one across here. 
and then this one across here. So it closes up around it like this. Okay, sorry I can't make that look prettier. All right, so this one's still open. Okay, so we close one of them up around the middle of the one. The first one. So now we're going to take this corner and we're going to tuck it up underneath this one. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more if I can. All right. I'm going to try holding this up so y'all can see this. Okay. So one's closed up like this. They want to keep popping open. That's the, probably one of the biggest challenges. It wants to keep popping open. So I have it like this. I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to tuck it up underneath this one. So this point is going to go up underneath this one. So you got to bend it back. You can even raise it up, okay? So I'll let it open back up a little bit. So it tucks under there like that. Okay? Then this one folds over. This is the hardest part. It has to get up underneath. It has to go in right under this one right here. So I have to kind of push that out of the way like that. Get it to fold over and tuck it up inside of there. Okay, so they tuck up inside of each other, just like that. Now, there you go. You have your ninja star. Now, we're not quite finished yet, because it's important that if you're going to be, especially if you're going to be playing with other people, you got to be able to identify your ninja star. Go in, decorate it, make it look really cool. All right, now it's game time. Let me adjust the camera here. All right. Here we go. So I got my tower set up. I just got some cups. You can set up just about anything that's gonna move some water bottles, whatever, okay? And then we got throw it like you can hold it any way you want. You can play this game, you can play this game different ways, okay? One way to play it is if you uh, you might want to just try to knock off one at a time, okay? You can knock off the top one, or you can go for like uh, strategically do it. See if you can knock them all down in one, maybe by hitting. Down low, this is what I've learned from these games, okay? That I've been playing on my phone. Hit it down low, maybe make it tumble, hit it down here, or you could just go for total explosion and try to get right in the center, okay? So I'm gonna throw my first one, all right? Are we still on the screen here? I'm gonna throw my first one. I'm just gonna try to hit the top one. We'll see how my ninja skills are. Ninja not. All right, so here we go. Oh, that curved. Okay, so I got one more star here. All right, I'm gonna try it, and then we'll go for total destruction. So here we go. Oh, okay. You know what? I like trying to go for that top one. So here we go. I'm gonna try for the, just the top one again. Man, I'm terrible. All right, we're going for total destruction here, okay? Total destruction, here we go. Boom! I still got some left. You can play a score game, however you want to do it. You get creative with it, okay? That's part of being an artist, is being creative. I hope y'all enjoyed the lesson. May God bless all your adventures.